her ex-husband, Kevin Federline, apparently gets $100,000 in child support every month? Hi there, I'm Rue. Welcome to my video where I talk about anything I want. Inspired by D'Angelo, I am. Yes. And today I want to talk about the Free Britney movement. Now, this is very unknown to me, so when some of you commented that you wanted me to cover it, thank you for suggesting it, by the way, I really enjoy suggestions. I had to go into research mode, and I watched a lot of videos on it, particularly by Sloan. And what I gather is, since Britney had her mental breakdown, if you remember back in the day, she had like a mental breakdown and she shaved off all of her hair and she had to be, you know, hospitalized, I think, because she had a mental breakdown. After that happened, she was put under a conservatorship, which is basically when an adult person no longer gets to make choices about their life. They're basically like a minor again and someone else makes choices on their behalf. And in this case, her father is in charge of making the choices in her life. The weird part is, though, that she's been under this conservatorship for over a decade? The point of a conservatorship is to make sure that someone who is unable to make good choices for themselves or is a danger to themselves won't be able to uh, be a danger to themselves, I guess, and make bad choices. But it's very strange because during this time that she's been under this conservatorship, she's been working and she seems fine. Like when I think of someone having to be put under a conservatorship where they can no longer make choices for themselves, I'm like envisioning someone who is like literally out of their mind, who's just like not even there. You know what I mean? So it feels really strange that she's still under this conservatorship when she seems okay enough to go to work. And since she is Britney Spears, she makes a lot of money when she goes to work. And a lot of people, that's basically the basis of this movement, is a lot of people are suspicious of the fact that she hasn't been released from this conservatorship for 10 years and that people are making money off of her that maybe they don't want to release her because they're making so much money off of her and she doesn't have any say. Someone pointed out that her ex-husband, Kevin Federline, apparently gets $100,000 in child support every month? I don't understand that at all. Like, they have like two or three kids, I guess, but $100,000 a month? That's like more money than I've ever been spent on me at my whole childhood, basically, a month. That's crazy. Like, I don't understand the needs of a child to have, like, to need that much money. And then someone says, well, he's using all that money to pay for his new kids and his new wife. And he's basically living the life off of Britney's money. And Britney's father, who's in charge of making decisions for her, he's apparently making bank too off of all the work she does and off of being her guardian. So that's why people are really upset. On the other side though, maybe she is very mentally ill. Like sometimes people are really mentally ill and there have been reports of her not taking her medication. I don't know what diagnosis she has, but depending on what diagnosis you have, it's really important that you take your medication and maybe her not wanting to take her medication is also like a breach of her gaining her independence back and maybe she's not doing the steps she needs to do to gain her independence back. Maybe she's still, um, a lot of people who are very, very mentally ill don't think they're mentally ill and don't want to take their medication. So maybe it's one of those things? I don't know. It's very strange. Like, if you're well enough to be a judge on a talent show, why are you not well enough to make choices in your own life? That is very strange, you know what I mean? So on the one hand, I totally understand if she is mentally ill to the point where she needs to be watched. But on the other hand, she doesn't really exhibit that kind of behavior to the point where I would be like, oh yeah, we need to take her freedom away. Like, if I was a judge, I wouldn't be like, oh yeah, she seems so ill that we're going to take away her freedom as an adult person. It's, it's all very strange. 
when money is involved, corruption is very easily formed. You know what I mean? Like, maybe it's gone from the point of, oh, we really want to protect your mental health to, oh, but we're making so much money, though. Like, maybe they're being biased and not wanting to let her go because of that. It's, it's disturbing, if that is the case. I really want y'all to comment below because I don't know a lot about this and please enlighten me. I really want to have a discussion about this and I look forward to reading it and talking about it in tomorrow's video in the follow-up. This is very interesting and very strange. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you're having a wonderful day. I will have my regular posting schedule, so see you on Friday and in the follow-up. Okay, love you, bye!